Hey y'all, hope everybody's doing well. Okay, today video we are doing blue. She wanted to do um, like a navy blue today. So um, throughout the video, I will not be talking throughout the video, just certain um, parts of the video. So I'm gonna let y'all um, watch. Okay, I already took off the old design. Right now, I am going around the cuticles with the sand bit. Um, the sand bit is for to take away any shine, any grease, anything that's on the natural nail. Um, I did 
well, the, uh, one of her nails did break off. So right now, I will be placing a tip on that nail and reshaping it up like the other ones. I do put forms on the nails that some of them, of uh, her natural nails did chip on the side of it and some of them did break off. So um, y'all will be seeing me putting forms on certain, um, certain of her um, figures. Um, these are forms. You can get these off of Amazon, Aliexpress, and any well sell any website that sells these. Today's set would just be a freestyle set. Um, it just came in mind and I just went with the flow, but the process came out gorgeous. The brand that I am using is GH Dipping System. Um, I did a video a couple of days ago, so go check it out. The color I am using is navy blue and the glitter mix that I made um, called Under Ocean. 
Um, you will see it once I put the the acrylic and glitter on the nails. Um, like I said, the set came out really, really gorgeous. And I also added rhinestones at the end.
Okay, ladies, so we are fouling. We want to make sure when we foul, we foul on each side. Um, don't never foul on one side too long because it will change your shape. And also, when you foul, you want to foul um, in the between or the end of the tip. You want to make sure you foul it straight because um, if you don't, your the tip of your nail will look different. Um, when you foul, you want to make sure you go underneath a little bit and then come over a little bit and make sure your foul is straight. going around your client's cuticles. Once you are done with the fouling, you wanna make sure you go around their cuticles. Make sure you go around there, but be gentle. You don't have to get too close to your client um, cuticles. Um, also, if the hands are dry, the cuticles are dry, just use a little bit of cuticle oil um, you don't have to put it on the natural nail. Just put it around the cuticles and it'll get softened up um, and it will work. Make sure once you, once, make sure when you do do that, your hands are clean and washed because again, you will have oil on your hands. So when you do do that, just make sure your hands are clean. Um, going Again, going around the cuticle gently. Um, if you nip your client, stop what you're doing. Clean it up, apologize, and keep continuing. Um, things happen, you know, it will happen. But again, you just want to keep in mind to keep, you know, keep the drill not too close to the cuticle. Again, you want to make sure when you do go around the cuticle, um, it's for to seal the nail so you won't have any lifting. And um, your next step is to make sure you buff the nails. Once you buff the nails real, real good, um, how you, how you want to make sure that the nail is smooth, just go over your thumb. Um, yeah, use your thumb to go over the nail to make sure it's smooth. If it's not, just keep buffing till it get there. Um, you want to make sure you dust off the nail and make sure you want to um, clean your client with alcohol wipes or they can go to the sink to wash their hands. This is Zule brand. This is glue. Um, you put it on the nail. You put it on. You put it underneath the lamp for I think 60 seconds. Um, I will be using blue form. Um, I didn't like the form. The glue and nothing. I don't think it's anything with the glue. I think my form it was pretty old. I've been having it for a while, so I had to go back over it twice. Um, and I did also put rhinestones on just. Um, I think it was the index and the ring fingers. So, yeah. 